It's Nick again. Uh, we're back with another video. Uh, so today, I wanted to kind of give information about this game to people who haven't played it. And so I thought the best way to do that, instead of making like a mission walkthrough, because they already exist, um, basically I thought, how about we do kind of like a setup? A video to like show what everything does and whatnot. So that's what I'm gonna do. So you got your primary, your secondary, your melee, your armor, your equipment, your mask, and your skill. The safes aren't really important, that's just cosmetic. So we'll start with primary. So there's a lot of guns, as you can tell. Most of these guns you're probably not gonna use because they all serve different purposes. And some are better than others. Some are game pass, some are not. The ones are zero dollars are game pass. So we'll start we'll start with assault rifles. So the AKM, it's a very good cheap it's a very good cheap option. It has decent concealment. It's pretty good for stealth actually. If you pair up with a Glock or an MP7 and you have um certain skills in the ghost troop, which I'll talk about later, you can have three detection fairly easily. We got the AUG A3. I would not recommend using this gun for loud or stealth. It has pretty bad damage. It has good ammo capacity, but it's still pretty bad. And it has no concealment, so you can't even use it for stealth, really. The Honey Badger. Really good stealth skills. Do not use this thing for loud. If you use this for loud, I'm kicking you from the lobby. The Ithaca. A very good... Loud and stealth uh, choice. It has decent concealment when paired with a Glock or an MP7 and when using a perk. And it has pretty solid damage because that's fairly each pellet. Anyways, KSG. Um, pretty solid. It's pretty much the exact same as the Ithaca, it just has a slower fire rate and less concealment. It has a little bit more reserve, but the main seller is. Uh, the magazine size. The L85A2. Now, personally, I have not used this gun too much. I'm pretty sure it is literally just an AUG that has a f faster fire rate and less de less detection. So, this is not a bad choice for stealth. It has good detection, but there's just a lot more better options. You got the L96 sniper. I'll just pair all the snipers into one category because most of them are Game Pass related. Mostly, you're not going to be using snipers at all unless you're using a loud build. And even then, shotguns are usually best. You can have more shots faster. It may not do the same amount of damage as fast, but that's just what it is. You don't need to do 3,000 damage, 3.5k to. A not really tanky enemy. M1014. It's a good shotgun. Not good for stealth. It has really good damage, so it makes it a really good loud gun. Overall, really good. M14 EBR. Not, it's not bad for loud. It's pretty solid, actually. It's just pretty much a scaled down sh uh, sniper with a faster fire rate. Overall, a decent choice. M16. The starter rifle of the game, it's pretty solid. It has really good concealment, so you can use it for stealth. It seems as a beginning. Overall, a decent pick. If you're using this gun when you're uh, prestige farming, it's not a bad choice. You can get prestiges really fast for infamy, I guess. You can get infamy pretty fast using this gun. You don't have to buy guns. Uh, M4-1. Pretty good for stealth. Doesn't have the best damage compared to other guns, but it has almost no recoil at all. It's literally a full lot of laser beam. MP5K. It has good concealment. It has kind of a damage, but it's pretty decent actually for stealth. Overall, not a bad choice. The mini gun. This thing. Do we even need to discuss this thing? It is pretty good, I'd say. You're not using this for stealth. 
Yeah. You are going to just blast through everyone if you're using this thing. But just try to get ammo so you don't die while reloading. The P90. Good damage. Very good kid sealman. And it has insane magazine size and fire rate. As well as having a good amount of reserve. You don't necessarily have to reload for a while. Really good choice for loud even. Sometimes. It really depends. But it's a good choice for loud if you need it. RPK. Now, this thing, not good for stealth at all, but this thing is a beast and loud. Does a, quite a lot of damage, has a good amount of fire rate, and it has a lot of reserve ammo. Overall, good choice. The R870. Good damage. It's pretty much just an Ithaca, but slightly better. Good choice. The Saw is special. It's for, it's really good if you're using it for missions like Rowbank or... Maybe even, or not, maybe even, just Robank and R&B in general, because the deposit boxes, anything with deposit boxes, this is good for, even Brick Bank. The Spaz. Personally, I think this is one of, if not the best shotgun, besides maybe the Remington. It has good damage, it has decent concealment, but you have... a really outrageous fire rate, and you don't have, it's not pump action, so you don't have to uh, cock it back every time. So, it saves you a lot of time on the reload department. UMP. Has good damage for an SMG. Uh, has a slow-ish fire rate compared to the other ones because it does a little bit more damage. It has less concealment, but does not necessarily the most important thing when it comes to, you know, having a shot, uh, having an SMG. Because if you want an SMG, you gotta at least have it do damage. Or have either have good damage or have good fire rate. This one is kind of the jack of all trades. It has decent damage, decent fire rate. So it just makes it solid. And then finally, we got the USAS 12 and the Vepro 12. So they are literally the exact same shotgun, only the USAS is full auto and the Vepro is semi auto. So the guns I'd recommend the most from each class. So if you're if you're on a budget trying to save. Either, if you're using an assault rifle, go with an AKM, keep the M16 as a starter, or even maybe, you can buy the Honey Badger, just not that much. Or you can buy, maybe even the M4, if you wanted to. SMG, I think the best pick for an SMG is the P90 by far. Good damage with insane fire rate and magazine size, but 30 concealment it makes it really good. In terms of shotguns, I would say the Spaz or the Remington. Even sometimes if the cut just because of its damage. Also a good choice. Um and those are pretty much all the guns you're gonna be using for stuff. You're not gonna be using snipers or DMRs or anything. Yeah. That's what I recommend for the primary class. Now let's go to the secondary class because this one not as much to unpack. AK uh AKS time for you. It's just an AK, but SMG style. A little bit more fire rate. Less damage, but less con somehow less concealment. I don't know. Chicago type butter. It's just an AK for you with worse accuracy, worse damage, pretty much all worse stats except for the reserve ammo and the fire rate. The Dow 12. I mean, this thing is okay for loud, it's not the best. Overall, kind of a mid pick, I guess. The Deagle, it's decent and loud, but you can really use, like, anything else. Like, you can use a MP7, maybe even a AK or the Dow 12 for loud, and you'll be fine. Because this Deagle's not necessarily a good stealth choice. The 5.7, it has good concealment and good damage, so it makes it a pretty solid choice if you're wanting to, you know, run it for stealth. It's just a deagle, but like almost kind of better in every way. See, it literally is better in every way. So yeah, it's just cheaper. A Glock 17 starter pistol, not much to say about it. G18, think of the Glock 17 if you gave it, you know, speed, but you reduce the accuracy. It goes crazy. The MP7, think of the G18, but more damage, more accuracy. And more fire rate. Just less reserve. 
P250. Uh, good pistol choice overall. It's probably you should just buy the 5.7 though. Finally, RPG. It's a rocket launcher. That's about it. So, yeah, my picks for what guns you should use for stealth. Honestly, the G17 works perfectly fine for stealth. So does the MP7. If you're going loud, I would recommend the AK74U with a 5.7. The 5.7 is also good for stealth. So, yeah, melee, melee actually doesn't really matter. It's just different concealments, and the knife has the same concealment as the tomahawk. It just has more damage. So I reason you to buy it. Oh, this is a very important one. You got this one. So, this is for wild builds, obviously. You're very slow, but you're literally an 8,000 pound gorilla. You literally cannot die for the most part. Unless you have a bad build, then you can. Uh, Kevlar jacket and a tactical vest. They're decent. With uh, loud, the well, the Kevlar is decent with loud. Um, the tactical vest can be used for stealth, it's all just not the best, though. So, then you got the combined tactical vest. This is what I use for my loud build, so I don't want to go too slow, but I don't want to, like, you know, be like dead in two shots because I don't use a dodge build. So, Good uh, damage re reduction, you have a lot of armor. It's just overall good choice for cloud. Heavy tactical vest, it's okay. For loud, it's not the best. If you're doing higher difficulties, don't use this, you're gonna die. Lightweight vest, now this, this is really good for stealth. If you're not too good at a stealth mission, but you don't, you're tired of restarting, you can use this. It only bump it up one or two points, even if you don't have the skill, which makes it less uh, concealment. Because there is a skill that makes this thing have the same, even or even less detection than the suit. The only problem is, it is a little bit slower. However, it's still a really good choice. And then the suit, you just move fast, pretty much. And you have zero detection with it. Because you're born there. Because that's on Equipment. Equipment, very important to do. Ammo bag, this is good for a mission so you have to use a saw or anything of the sort with. Sentry gun, it's good for loud if you want to hold the doorway with this. Um, the chip mine, same goes for that as well, as well as being able to pop open uh, the small safes and ATMs very quickly. ECM, really good for stealth. Can also open up, um, it can wait make you uh, able to wait on the pages for a lot longer it can you know open easy uh, the what's it called atms my brain was not working for a second and overall probably the best choice for Lustel. the doctor bag think of it as like a med kit with multiple uses except it just resets the amount of times you can go down so if you go down twice if you go down a third time, you're in custody. But if you have a doctor bag and you use it, you can go down another three more times. Or you can go down two more times again before you're actually like in custody again if you go down the third time. If you go down twice, use this. You can go down another uh, two, and then your third down again will be the one that puts you in custody. And then body bags. The second best for stealth, you need to hide the civilian or a guard. This is what I recommend. It's far better for missions like Shadow Raid than the ECM, but it's good to have a mix of body bags and ECM jammers if you're playing with friends. So yeah. Um, mask it shouldn't really matter that much, it's just cosmetic. And the skills. There is a lot to unpack with this. I'm trying to make it as simple as possible. So you have the basic skills and the aced skills. Basically, as you spend more points in a skill tree, you unlock more tiers of it. So, this is my stealth build. So, I have the perks for a cable guy. I have that ace because it gives me 50% faster speeds to tie them, and I get three more ties. 
And then this one, I get 25 more health. Which I don't necessarily need for stealth, but the 30% more stamina is a must. This one is also a good choice if you need it, but it's not as necessary overall. And then you have this tree. So, this is because I want a shotgun setup. Um, I don't even necessarily need this perk for my stealth build. I just kind of have it. Um, shotguns, they can shoot an additional shot. To roll it. So, yeah, that's good. A additional pellet. And then non automatic shotguns, they get, you know, 13 more bullets. So, that's pretty good as well. I can, if I got that one at least. Um, I get armor 20% faster, which I just got this perk to unlock the tree, I think, but I don't even need it. Um, ammo bags. M mostly just stop to level up my shotguns and whatnot. But this one, uh, the guys you. Uh, carry away 50% less. Really good. You need this perk if you're doing stealth. And cloud as well. You can pick up uh, bags off the ground instantly if it's aged. Also in the same. Uh, and then these are just a bunch of basic other perks. Um, I'll go into my loud real depth. So this is a very good skill tree as well. The technician. This is for missions that you need to trail through things. Like brick bank or even... I don't know, um, blank in here. Or, um, downtown bank, yeah. It has blank in here, so I'm tired. So, you got, you can deploy them 50% faster, and they run 10% faster. You can repair them 50% faster, and you can repair it by hitting it with a melee. I take 50% less damage while interacting with any object, and I have five. I have five more dodge, which dodge just has a chance to you know dodge a bullet if you get shot at, and it hits you because it doesn't. It just rolls a prob probability that you get hit or you don't. And then this one, uh, I can toss bags twice as far, so I can literally throw them a whole mile. And aced, I can carry two bags, which it's it's not necessary, but it's. In, like, insanely good if you're doing stealth or even loud, it saves you a lot of time. And then finally, Dream Expert. Um, 50% uh, basic, 100% chance aced of auto repairing. And then Ghost. So, this is the most complex tree in the setup. Chameleon. You can spot special enemies in casing mode, which is pretty good. Um, I can interact with stuff. So, if I see key cards, or it's stuff like that, etc. on the ground, I can pick them up while not even having my max on. This one, um, every silence weapon, it actually is more concealed than if you don't have a silencer. And then it just gives more concealment if you ace it. Melee. Uh, this one, uh, melee concealment increased by 2, and your lightweight is increased by 4, the concealment. Duck and cover. Spam the... Uh, 25% faster re a regen and use sprint 25% faster, faster in general. Cleaner. Uh, I, you can hold two, uh, three body bags at a time, I mean, and you start with two. Uh, and you can also carry two body bag cases if you ace it. Six tenths. Stan um, auto spot special enemies within 10 meters uh, during stealth. Um, cleaning cost reduced by 75% aced. Parkour. Movement speed increased by 10%. You can run and reload ace. It's pretty good. Nimble. Disable a camera by interacting with it. it. Disables it for 25 seconds. And you can pick lock saves, but not the vaults. The professional. You can let go of a pager mid response and it will not trigger the alarm. Sometimes a civilian will run in front of you or run in your face as you answering a pager. And if it cancels it, you don't have this perk. You're busted, you have to restart. Infiltrator. Your melee weapons can open non reinforced doors. And you can gain two, con uh, two free concealment points, and you can pick locks twice as fast. ECM Overdrive. It lasts 25% faster, or it's 25% longer, I mean, for both jamming and feedback, and you can open electronic doors as if you had a key card. And finally, ECM Specialist. You can carry two ECM jammers when you spawn. And now, the duration increased by 25% again, and the major timings are now delayed. So now you can 
hold off on a pager to like take people hostage or whatever. Okay, so that's my stealth build. Here is my loud build. So this one's a lot different than this tough build. I still have all of these perks, um, except for this, uh, the chameleon cleaner and six cents. I have shockproof to so tasers, uh, will not tase me as often. Okay, now we have drill experts. We got all of these drill repairs. We have the two bags. We got the ranged weapons can pierce body armor and go through multiple enemies. Uh, my sniper's reload 50% faster. And my semi-automatic weapons do 5% more damage. For Enforcer Tree, Bullseye, every time I kill someone with a headshot, I get 200 armor. Uh, I can have 15 rounds of non-automatic shotguns, two, uh, 15 extra rounds in the magazine. Um, I can penetrate shields with bullets, and I do three per uh, they do three x more damage to armor. And the flashbang uh, effects also reduce. Uh, snipers can no longer do damage to me, like in general with this perk if you have an aced. And then I get more ammo for picking up ammo boxes and then just reloading. This is also like if you're going to like do a large setup. Like if you're doing a very tanky setup that doesn't rely on bullseye, you you want tank instead, which it just gives you a lot more base health. But this one just regens armor fast. And then finally, mastermind. So inspire. If you yell, if you hit E or your interact key on a down player, every thirty or sixty seconds, depending on if you had it aced or not, it will instantly revive them. Um, you can convert. Uh, police to fight on your side or SWAT. You can take them hostage. You can place doctor bags twice as fast and carry multiple. You can, you know, use them two more times and you can four times, I guess. Um, fifty percent chance of auto revive. Um, you revive players fifty percent faster and you get ninety percent health. And cable guy. So this is a perk meant. Uh, this is a skills meant for. You can pick locks pretty fast. Um, you can pick open safes just kind of slowly. Um, you can place drills and have them auto repair so you can focus on defending. Um, you're very good at getting uh, health regen and just killing in general. And then you just get a lot of perks here that help you with healing or healing your teammates. So. Yeah, that's the skills tree. And overall, it's just a very simple, well, not simple, far from, it's just a very good way of being able to do your missions faster. Speaking of which, we will cover one last thing, which is the mission, because that's what you're doing. So, if you're wanting easy money, Quick, easy money. I recommend you jewelry shop, R and B. If you use this in a saw, diamond store, row bank, downtown's pretty solid. Shadow raid, authority, and nightclub. Especially nightclub, you can get paid so much. It takes like two minutes per run, if that. Ozella, really good money. It just takes a little bit longer. It's just difficult if you're. Not the best. So, GMC and Grip, obviously. So those are good for money. Stealths are really good for money in general. Um, I would not recommend you do stuff like Gift Factory, Trick or Treat, or even um, what's called Cook Off. They take way too long, and they're not fun. Not recommended. Haunted Forest. This is difficult. I mean. You have to kill the once you kill someone, they turn to a ghost and they have like two or three times the health. So it's just painful. Ozella, you get caught, you're done. If they set off the alarm, you're done. And it's just painful with all the steps you have to do. Downtown Bank, you have to play this one right if you don't want to kill Sibs. So overall, it's kind of mid tier. 
art gallery. It doesn't pay as much, but it's a quick one. It gets decent XP. Four stores. I just hate this one. It sucks. Don't play this mission. And yeah, that's about it. So, I hope these tips help you guys out when you, if you decide to play this game. And I'll, just, I'll catch you guys in the next review. Um, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, put them down in the comments. And I'll either respond to your comment. Or I'll make another video going in depth about if you guys are confused about a certain part of it. So, again, thank you for watching. And have yourself a very good rest of your day or night.